Hello Pisces and welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your April 2023 monthly tarot reading for the sign of Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. So I hope you're well. As always, take what resonates. This won't be for everyone. And the reading can resonate for really the month of April 2023. So we have Page of Swords as your overarching energy. The page brings information, communication... We have the Page of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, the Nine of Swords, the Strength card, Let's see what we have in terms of love, romance, relationships, and then money, career, finances. What do we have for Pisces, please? We have the Eight of Pentacles, the Two of Swords, and the Hermit. Let's see what we have in money areas. What do we have for Pisces? Money, career, finances for Pisces. Thank you. Thank you. We have the Nine of Pentacles. The Magician. I did take a sneak peek at the bottom of the deck. I've got the Ace of Swords here. Okay, Pisces, I'm going to pull you an Angel Answer card. What do we have for Pisces? Thank you. I love that we have within the next few weeks it is tying in with the reading these messages we have recovery yeah bottom of the deck I've got improving health let's see what we have in terms of your power animal oracle card what do we have for Pisces thank you message for a lovely Pisces We have Hummingbird Joy, Lighten Up. Looks like things are going to take an upward turn here. With, we have Magic. We have the Magician here as well. So we have Magic, Own Your Power. The Raven is also a, a sign of change. And I'm going to pull a message from Spirit for you. What do we have for Pisces, please, Angel Spirits Guides? Message for our lovely Pisces, thank you, for the month of April, thank you. We have Strength, it's already appeared once in your reading, so we have Strength. Strength comes from many sources. Staying strong brings confidence, conviction, and a balanced body, mind, and soul. Spirit has its own unique and beautiful way of replenishing your soul with strength, on a continual basis. You're never really alone as we're always with you. And really there is an energy here, Pisces. Certainly whatever you're facing and dealing with, you are strong enough. Sometimes we don't feel that, but you're being told here you are strong enough. Page of Swords, let's have a look at money, career, finances first. Page of Swords is, it can be about news. <laughs> you know, I sometimes call it the wind of change card for me as a reader because it feels like that, you know, all of a sudden that breezy energy of that fresh wind of news coming in that brings change, the beginnings of something new, the beginnings of change, there is new clarity coming your way. And it looks like in terms of money, career, finances. There could also be an energy here, Pisces, of learning something, getting some kind of information. Coming into April, 
that prompts you to take action. That could be about your current circumstances. We have the Strength card and the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, I mean, I get it. You know, the, the Strength card and the Wheel of Fortune. I mean, the Wheel of Fortune is lovely to have in a money reading in particular because it is linked with divine timing and orchestration at play in your life. It's linked with destiny. So it's a great card of good luck, good fortune. Things are going to turn in your favor. Uh, with the Strength card, it's about being strong to face a difficult to face the situation head on, to look at it, face it, deal with it from a point of being in our power and with a view to overcoming it. So a recognition of we need to draw on our own inner power to face things in our external environment, but that you are powerful enough to deal with this. You know, the cards are also kind of, well, in addition to that, the cards are showing here, Pisces, that it is divine, divine timing and orchestration and sometimes not the time frame that we want. So sometimes we have to be strong until things do turn in our favour. Is the energy there? Because it's almost kind of like, don't worry, everything's going to work out, but not necessarily with the time frame that we want. We have the Nine of Swords and the Page of Wands. I feel like you're worried. I mean, the, the Nine of Swords can be about stress, worry, anxiety, something preying on your mind. It can be the card of the insomniac as well. With the Page of Wands to do with a new beginning, a new opportunity, uh, a new door opening. You're not sure if it's going to happen or not. Uh, we have the blanket of protection here. So even when we're very stressed, we can't see the wood for the trees. And it's because you don't have the clarity of what's really going to happen next with regard to a new path that you might want here. But there's a strong indication here that you're absolutely being protected, especially with that Wheel of Fortune energy being in your reading. Uh, just keep on facing the thing that needs to be faced here and stay strong. That would be the energy here with regard to getting some kind of, it looks like a new opportunity. The beginnings of something new. You know, we get these energies when we don't know what's going to happen next, you know, and we just need to be strong because, again, like I said, this is divine timing and orchestration. Whether you're experiencing some kind of delays or things aren't moving as fast as you want them to, or you're worried about your current circumstances and want to get something new here, Pisces, regardless, there there is good luck and good fortune turning in your favour and a sense of protection you're really being told to stay strong. Because a manifest, the magician is all about manifestation. The magician understands how to turn something negative to positive, ideas into reality-based metal to gold, and that's your energy. The strength and courage and the know-how to create the reality that you want. That's the energy of the magician. Set your, set your focus and intention and take action towards it with unwavering faith and you make it happen. You work your magic. This is manifestation at its best. With the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Swords is linked to victory, success, breakthroughs, uh, it can be in the form of communication coming in here that marks a brand new beginning. So if you have been taking action in a particular direction and it would be towards something new, looks like a new opportunity here, that is very close to your heart and soul. And it looks like you have to be strong in your current circumstances to face things that are difficult to face here. I mean, this could well be in terms of either getting back into employment or facing a challenge in your current employment aspect where you are prompted to, to move in a new direction. Either way, the message really remains the same. The Ace of Swords is marking a success coming your way that marks a new beginning. It looks like there's communication coming in here. With the Nine of Pentacles, the Nine of Pentacles is a card of material success, standing in your own abundance and your own success, manifesting your own 
money, manifesting your own success and abundance here with the Nine of Pentacles. And it doesn't just happen by itself, the Nine of Pentacles. It really is backed up by a lot of hard work and effort to achieve this. There's, there's a great energy here, Pisces, of a sense of self-sufficiency, standing in your own abundance, uh, material success linked with this, because you've worked to achieve it, and that's the energy here. Even in these energies here, and again, if it was affecting your, your own life or your love life or your family in some way, or you might have even been supported by family throughout this period while you were trying to get back on track and maybe get back into employment. This is an energy here of putting your energy and effort into a particular direction. Again, the Eight of Pentacles is hard work that works towards achieving this, the Nine of Pentacles. And again, the Hermit being illuminated from within on where you need to place your focus and wisdom and knowledge here. With the Two of Swords, yeah, looks like for a period of time you're going to be waiting on some kind of decision. You feel, you feel here that it's going to go well, but you just don't know. Intuitively, you might feel something's going well, but you just don't know because there's going to be a process in April where you're manifesting an end result. And it takes a lot of strength because there's going to be a lack of clarity for part of that. But then there's this kind of fresh, breezy energy coming in. Like I said, that sense of a wind of change coming your way, that brings that sense of new abundance and the results of your labor, that you, you reap the fruits of your labor. The hard work was all worth it because you stand in a level of success for you. And this is real success, the Nine of Pentacles. So again, recovery. The hermit can also link with things like physical health. If you have been recovering or even taking care of somebody else, you know, this can be even going back into employment after some kind of health issue as well. But the message, again, this energy, improving health could be physical, can also be in terms of financial, but things are going to lighten up, own your power and stay strong this month because not everything is going to go quickly. Then there will be delays, then there will be waiting periods, there will be a level of uncertainty for you in April, but then it all seems there is that sense of breakthrough coming in where everything becomes clear and that new door opens for you and that's what I see here. Okay Pisces, so let's have a look at love romance relationships. So I was actually feeling quite a strong sense in terms of money areas for you this month. Um, certainly with the cards on the table, but let's have a look at love romance. The Strength card and the Wheel of Fortune can sometimes be being true to yourself in facing an issue on whether you want to go around the house with somebody again or whether you want to do something differently. Uh, there can be a sense here, Pisces, of do I want to do I want to give this a go again? Do I want to? Can we turn things around? That would be the energy here. Now for you here, Pisces, it looks more like, I want to say unfinished business, certainly in terms of love, romance, relationships, because there is a sense here of a message coming in that causes you a lot of stress, worry, anxiety. It starts preying on your mind because you're not sure of whether you want to give something a go with this person again. I don't know whether you've been apart for a period of time because that's the energy that I'm getting quite strongly. But it feels like even though you might have been physically apart from this person. And again, Nine of Pentacles, you know, when I'm looking at the energies here with the Magician and the Ace of Swords, this can be where you're standing on your own abundance on your own and, and enjoying life, even attracting, you know, love, feeling attractive, feeling good. But then there's a sense of someone coming back into your life in some way, that kind of sense of, of communication out the blue. And that's what I'm seeing with that page of swords and even the page of wands here, to take action, to give something a go again. There is passion here. There is excitement and chemistry with this person, no doubt about it. But again, there is history also. And you're wondering whether you want to go around the houses with this person again or not. 
they're saying that they've worked on themselves, uh, you know, and they really want to put effort and energy into a relationship with you again to heal. You know, it looks like some level of healing and, and learning maybe from experience as well. Again, the energy of the hermit is shining the light from within and just determining what you truly want in response to this person finding answers from within. Because it looks like there's a decision to make here with the Two of Swords, weighing up some kind of decision. But really with the Two of Swords, intuitively, we already know what we want to do. It looks like there is some kind of unfinished business with this person. Whether things were left in the air when you finished last time, whether energetically things didn't quite finish between you. There's just this sense of unfinished business. Now, I will say here, Pisces, even though they're wanting to give something another go with you, sometimes these energies happen and spirit allows people to come back into our lives for one of two reasons. It's either to give this person another chance with the potential here that things can work out this time for you and intuitively you, you will know you will feel if that's the right thing for you to do or sometimes energetically we never quite break from things that have finished in the past it sometimes gives you an opportunity here when somebody comes round again to kind of draw that line under it energetically physically practically emotionally you know so sometimes we just people come back into our lives so we can just make peace with an ending, break free of it and move on fully. So whatever the situation is, it looks like divine timing is at play and this person is coming back into your life in some way and I feel that it's a sense of unfinished business and it, like I said, one of two paths would be available to you in that respect. But it does like, again, with the Ace of Sword being here, you'll understand what you want to manifest and what you don't want to manifest. You will have the clarity, the epiphany, the know-how to choose the path that's clear for you. Because again, I'm going from the Two of Swords to the One of Swords. You make your mind up. Okay, what do we have as the final message for Pisces? And it does take strength to do that here, Pisces. But this is, you're, you're coming at this from a point of strength. You know, this is doing the right thing for you and making the right choices and decisions for you this month. Strong sense of being empowered as well this month. We have protection. The fairies of protection are shielding you with a magical fairy ring of love and light. Practice psychic protection before embarking upon any spiritual work. That's what I have for you. I hope you enjoyed your reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I wish you a wonderful month and I will see you next time.